We are back to more Let's Play Trauma Team. When we last left off, we did parts 1 and 2 of Gabriel Cunningham's son, Joshua. And in, the and in this part, we are hopefully going to finish his diagnosis. Let's go ahead and question him. And it's small, but it's cool. <laughs> I like how they have like a special scientific name for going to the bathroom a lot. New symptom observed. Polydipsia and polyuria. And you, they have a scientific name for wanting to get a just want to get a drink. Polydipsia and polyuria. We already got those symptoms. Run a diagnostic on them. seems around the same. Oh, nope. Serum phosphorus is low. The serum phosphorus level is abnormally low. Roni, another piece of the puzzle. New symptom observed. Low serum phosphorus level. And his serum PRL level is high. Yep. Abnormally high PRL blood level. Roni, mark it down. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High PRL blood level. Oh, serum gastrin is really high. Hmm. The serum gastrin level seems unusually high. Roni, record that. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High serum gastrin level. It's none. No oh God! Never mind. <laughs> His intact PTH is showing some very high levels. Roni, put it in his chart. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High intact PTH level. Is that everything, really? Oh, <laughs> shoot. There's no examinations, so let's go ahead and uh, match stuff, I guess. I doubt that's all of it. Acute kidney failure. Urine production. Loss of appetite, nausea, itchiness, dizziness, heart rate may appear. Uh, that's not it. It's not all of it. Yo, Joshua. You doing all right? Oh, doctor. Yeah, it hurts a little, but I'm all right. I see. I'm sorry. Just a little longer. Oh. Yeah, you already found this earlier. I got your nose. Yeah, he has your eyes. He has your everything. He has your hair. The got your nose trick, huh? Anything else? Uh, uh, um, I just, uh, you got nothing to say. Is there anything in here I missed? Pressure is fine. Hmm. 
Hmm. Has to be something in here I missed. What if I'm looking straight at it right now? And I'm not even noticing it. All of this seems fine. Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> His blood calcium is way past the average levels. Ronan, you got that one? New symptom observed. of abnormal levels have suddenly appeared. The cause is unknown, but the analysis is at least 97% reliable. I know. That's why I'm worried. Let's go back to my office. I need to sort through the latest data. Now we can go back to the office. All right. Let's go. How did I not see that? Now. All right. There we go. Now let's take a look. Hypoparathyroidism. Don't ask why. I know how to pronounce that. A condition that causes various symptoms due to increased production of the parathyroid glands hormones. Polydipsia and polyuria will show high blood calcium, low serum phosphorus, high intact PTH. There's a number of symptoms which don't apply, but. Hyperparathyroidism seems to be the closest match, right? Syntigraphy and X-ray examinations will be necessary to make a definitive diagnosis. Hmm. Well, then let's get approval right away. Understood, doctor. Request has been approved. The X-ray and syntigraphy exams are now available. All right, let's go take a look. Get, let's do it to it. X-ray. There's shadows right here. The bones in his fingers have gotten thinner. His bone resorption must be advancing. Roni, add this to our list. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Subperiosteal bone resorption. And scintigraphy. Well, we already found the problem. Hmm. Showing abnormal accumulation of technetium in the parathyroid gland. There's no mistaking it. That's parathyroid adenoma. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Parathyroid adenoma. Alright. Let's go back to the office. Let's go back to the office. Let's sort this out. An x ray will subperiosteal bone res resorption. And abnormal accumulation into the parathyroid adenoma. It's pretty clear that hyperparathyroidism is set in, but what about the symptoms that don't apply? Doctor, until the primary disease has been identified, we must continue the diagnosis. Yeah, no turning back now. We need to figure this thing out. All right, let's go see Joshua then. What? Hmm. You must be under 
undergoing a visual field loss. Joshua, where is it hard to see? Is it the right and left edges of your eyes? Huh? Oh, um, I think so. I can't see right and left. Just as I thought. It could be in the eyes. It could be in the brain. We need to do an MRI. Understood, Doctor. Symptom observed. Visual field loss. And the MRI exam is now available. Gotta do an MRI now? Man, what is wrong with this guy? My head hurts too. And his head hurts. Stomach aches, back pains, and now headaches. This has to be hard on him. We need to find the answer quickly. New symptom observed. Huh. Jeez, man. Alright, let's go check out the MRI, I guess. Let's check this out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Alright. Wait. No, that's not it. It's the same. That looks the same. I don't see it. Yeah, I really don't. I really don't see it, like, at all. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, God. Oh, let me check the fifth one again. Like it's just pointing me in the face right now, but I just can't see. Oh, there it is, right there. Huh? The pituitary gland's gotten so large. No question. This is a pituitary gland tumor. New symptom observed. Tumor Dang! Like that took a. <laughs> that was hard to see. Like, good lord. Let's go. Ah, uh, that only has three. 
how about open angle glaucoma eye strain headache vision loss I don't see eye strain on there I don't think that's it Menin menin menigioma that did be fancy words uh, attacks of epilepsy, paralysis. Nah, this isn't it. Alright, pituitary adenoma, headache and vision loss. Due to increased secretion of the prolactin from the hypophysics. High serum PHL or PRL. And the MRI would include tumor shadows in the pituitary gland. The symptoms seem to point to pituitary adenoma first, the parathyroid gland, now the pituitary gland. Damn it, what in the world? I have located one case in the archives which matches this scenario. What? I didn't tell you to do that. How'd you? I applied the to hell with that algorithm recently entered into my registry. And <laughs> Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, huh? Even a robo apple. Now this is the kind of partner a doctor should have at his side. Ha ha ha! I have indeed been designated as your partner, but the news is not good. This is a disease where the probability of onset is one in ten thousand. Uh, where is it? Show me the data immediately. Yes, doctor. I have added this diagnosis candidate to your database. Got it. All right, let's take a look. Wormer syndrome. A condition in which tumors form on multiple glands in the endocrine system, such as pituitary, parathyroid, and parotid gland. Headaches, vision loss, analysis, high serum PRL, high blood calcium, low serum phosphorus, high intact PGH, high serum gastrin. An x ray will reveal high serum. Serostyl bone res resorption tumors in the MRI a scintigraphy abnormal parathyroid adenoma this should be him Warmer syndrome that's impossible I must disagree doctor the probability of this match is roughly 73%. To verify this, we need to check for pancreatic tumors. Roni, order a CT scan so I can examine the patient's pancreas. Dr. Cunningham, should I also request that the patient be assigned to another doctor? Don't make me repeat myself. I don't pick and choose my patients. I'm a diagnostician. Find the symptoms. I diagnose the disease. That's all there is to it. Understood. The CT examination is now available. Let's go take a look. This doesn't sound good. In the slightest. That's good. Let's see him. Let's finish this quickly. CT. There it is. Ah, oh, it's just swollen pancreas, that's all it is. Yeah, it's just, that's just a swollen pancreas. Oh, yeah, there it is. Huh. I guess that's that. 
These shadows look like pancreatic tumors, all right. Roni, I need to make sure of this. Collate it with the case data. Understood. Now collating. Nine matches with previous cases confirmed. These are pancreatic tumors. I see. <laughs> yeah, I think for once, I'm not so excited about your accuracy. New symptom observed. Tumor shadows on the pancreas. We found it. Just go mash it up with Wormer Syndrome. Should be tumor shadows on the pancreas in the CT scan. Diagnose. needs to be dealt with at once. If his condition worsens any more. Damn it. This is bad, Gabe. Joshua's only getting worse. It's warmer syndrome. He's going into septic shock. I'll leave the treatment to the other staff. What? Joshua's your son. Get over there and go see him. Me going there won't change anything. I gave my diagnosis. The rest is up to you guys. Huh? You are an absolute disgrace! You are incorrect, Dr. Cunningham. What? I observed tension in your vocal cords just now. Your words are not congruous with your true feelings. And? And what? You mean you can tell everything about me? Am I that wrong? Is everything my fault? I can't make him happy as a father. I can't use a scalpel and save him myself. There's nothing I could do! Nothing, damn it! all pointless. Everything. Hey, Brony. You know what? I'm the worst father out there. What do you know? You're right. I can't believe a machine talks some sense into me. Roni, get ready for surgery. Contact the ERN nursing. The operation can begin in five minutes. I won't let Joshua die. As a doctor. Or as his father. Let's go. Yeah! We're saving our son in the next episode. Alright, so. In the next episode, we are going to go to CRS-01. His next mission, Walking from Terror. We are going to begin the next mission in the next episode. We are going to save Gabriel's son. Alright? See you guys next time.